Okay, I'm moving on. We're going to move on to the maxilla now. And everything that you've learned up to this point remains the same. Mm -hmm. Operator position, patient position. So remember that we did areas um, with the Explorer 1 through 4 from the 1130 position. So we're going to maintain that. And we're going to go to our anterior Gracie. All right. And remember that we have to determine the correct end and we cannot use the lower third of the shank because they're both straight, right? All right, so I'm gonna go in the away direction and I'm gonna check for the correct end and I don't wanna see the face. Do you see the face? Okay. And now I see the back. Do you see that? Okay, and I'm gonna retract the lip with my index finger and my second finger, my non-dominant hand. I have my mirror palmed in case I need it. Um, I'm going to place my fulcrum now on the occlusal or incisal edges with my palm parallel to the maxillary arch. I'm going to go in closed or pull my shank toward the tooth to a zero degree angulation. Insert my toe uh, apically and then I'm going to pull my shank slightly away from the tooth to open up my blade. Okay, somewhere between 60 and 90 degrees. And then I'm going to apply lateral pressure on my coronal stroke, but not my apical stroke, and work the instrument around the tooth. I started a little on the other side of the midline. Okay. And each stroke was continuous. And then rolling that toe toward the tooth, toe to tooth, toe to tooth. And I'm gonna pick my fulcrum up. I'm gonna to go to the next tooth. Remember, all three fingers together. Open, closed and open. Maintaining that toe Oops. on the tooth. As you come around the corner, you want your shank parallel with the long axis. All right, so I have to lean my hand in that direction, not stretch my fingers. Move my fulcrum as I move. I'm not wearing gloves so you can see what my hands and my fingers are doing right. We would be wearing gloves if this were a patient. So I went one way and now I'm going to come back with the opposite end place my fulcrum on the tooth next door. I know I've got the correct end because I see the back of the instrument, not the face. Go in closed and then open. Maintaining open as I move around the tooth and rolling that terminal third of the working end into the tooth with every stroke. So as I come around the corner, I want to make sure my shank is parallel with the long axis of the tooth. Toe on, heel off. All right. So now we're going to move to area two. And I'm going to use my mirror for complete indirect vision. And I'm going to go in the away direction. So easy way to figure out the correct um, 
working end is if it's wrong in one, it's right in two because the low blade is then against the tooth. Now I'm gonna pull in toward the tooth this way and then open toward the lingual. Maintaining an open stroke, palm parallel to the arch and shank parallel as I come around the corner. So I've had to lean my hand in that direction so that all three fingers stay together. Right now, we are scaling at the cervical third of the tooth. But remember, we would go as deep as the junctional epithelium would allow us to. And also, if there's anything on the crown or around the line angles on the crown, we go for that too. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to come back in the opposite direction, turn my toe in the opposite direction. It's wrong in one, it's right in two. Going toward the tooth to close, insert, explore, and then open to activate my stroke, which is my cutting stroke, and apply lateral pressure on the coronal part of my stroke but not the apical, so that I don't shove anything down into the um, base of the sulcus. Insert with the toe apical, so your toe stays apical at all times. fulcrum should be as close to the working area as possible without being directly over where you're going to finish up. So if you see that happening, just move your fulcrum over slightly. Hand pivoting on my fulcrum. young to be doing that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move to um, areas three and four on the maxilla, and we're, we're going to start with our 1314 Gracie, and I'm going to place my fulcrum, and because it's a distal instrument, I'm going to check it on the distal for the correct end, and this time we are going to look at the lower third of the shank and it should be parallel to the long axis of the tooth. You look in the mirror and you can see it the way I'm seeing it because I'm going to be using complete indirect vision. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to place my fulcrum on tooth number three modified pin grasp. I'm going to extend my instrument slightly and I'm going to roll over my fulcrum, extend my toe apical and place it at the distal line angle pulling closed and then open and your shank should be on the same side that you're working on and your handle should be as close to being there as possible. When I finish, I'm just going to remove my instrument, go to the next tooth, the distal, going closed and open. Remember, we start at the distal line angle, go around that corner, and then across the distal surfaces. Okay. 